A visit to the historic village of Fort Recovery brings to light two major battles that occurred in the 1790s that helped shape the future of a young nation. You will learn how the differences in beliefs about the land and its resources led to these battles between the Native Americans and U.S. Army. The first battle in 1791, the Battle of the Wabash, stands as the greatest loss ever suffered by the United States Army. 900 of America's 1,200 soldiers were killed or mortally wounded during the conflict. The Second Battle of Fort Recovery took place in 1794 on the same triangle of land on the banks of the Wabash River. However, with the protection of a fort, nearly 250 soldiers were able to resist a two-day relentless attack by 2,500 warriors. It was this battle that led to the signing of the Treaty of Greenville and opened up the lands of the Northwest Territory. Fort Recovery proved that the United States had a viable army that could protect its citizens. When visiting Fort Recovery, be sure to tour the State Museum, Fort Blockhouses and Stockade, and a pair of log cabins, one featuring an early homestead, the other set up as a blacksmith shop. The remains of the soldiers from both battles are buried under the 101-foot-tall obelisk, which also features a statue of a frontiersman facing west, symbolizing how westward expansion was accomplished by the victory at Fort Recovery. Other points of interest include the Pioneer Cemetery, where many of the area's earliest settlers are buried. There's Eagles Point, a small park that pays tribute to the Indian tribes that lived in the area. And don't miss the fabulous murals located throughout downtown Fort Recovery. For more information on historic Fort Recovery and other interesting attractions in West Central Ohio, check out greatergrandlakeregion.com.